Hey everybody, I am in Las Vegas this week, so what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to dig through my bags a little bit. Uh, we're going to see what I travel with. So first off, this is my new-ish away suitcase. You can see it's a little bit scuffed up. That's okay, because it's keeping all my stuff safe inside. It's... I've, all, I've put it through its, its miles already. Uh, this is one of those things I love about it, is this compartment with a rechargeable battery that it comes with. It just fits inside there. Uh, I took it out, we'll see that in a bit. It's, again, it's pretty sturdy. It's scuffed up on the outside, but, you know, I put it through its paces. And what matters is this hard shell keeps everything safe inside. And it has a combination lock on the zipper. Alright, so let's actually open this bad boy up. So first thing, uh, over here on, what is this, on camera left, there is this really great compression pad. You like buckle it in, it squishes all your clothes down, doesn't leave them wrinkled or anything. Just saves you some space and also keeps everything from flopping around once you open this up. Uh, and then it has this little pouch in the pad. I tend to not make judicious use of that. But I keep a few spare cables here. Got my clothes. I'm not going to dig into my laundry. Even though it's still at the beginning of the week. So it's not like it's full of dirty clothes yet. Oh, the other thing about this away case. It also has a laundry bag. Like a little pouch with a, with a laundry bag in it. For your dirty clothes when you travel. And then... My philosophy for packing stuff in this main compartment. It looks chaotic and unorganized. I'm usually a little bit more organized than this, but it's, you know, it's whatever. It's all in one spot. You're never going to get everything, so it's not chaos once you open this and fold it back. Some ibuprofen and... Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. There we go. I had to adjust some. There's some allergy meds in there and the ibuprofen. Anything that I can afford to lose in the short term or rebuy, that goes in here. Like this lens ball, it's so cool. Uh, it's essentially, it, it acts as a wide angle lens. It's a really reflective surface that just fish eyes everything. A diaspora with me. Uh, I didn't enter anything at Evo this year because I'm here as media. Got my water pick. Instead of... Actually, no, not instead of, but I use it instead of floss. I do have floss on me. Which I use more like toothpick, uh, toothpicks. That's a moisturizer, because I tend to have dry skin. And my toothbrush is also, uh, also electric. So, like, here's what I'm thinking. If I check this bag and the airline loses it, or if I leave it in the back trunk of an Uber or something. Bring two deodorants if you're going to a con. It can't hurt you. If you're going to a tournament or a con, bring two. It's not going to hurt. Um, what was I saying? Like, if, I, if somehow the bag gets lost, if I lose track of it, whatever. There's nothing in here that is irreplaceable and there's nothing in here that is so valuable that I can't afford to replace it uh, quickly like I'm gonna by the way I keep I didn't used to do this I used to keep one uncovered I don't have the plastic bit for it anymore this is my nice little Harry's razor um, but you do not want a loose blade just sloshing about in there I've done that with my cabinets at home. This is what I was talking about. Uh, where I left one of the, the cartridges loose and cut my thumb up fierce on it. This is the grossest tasting melatonin in the world. Uh, but if I'm anticipating that I'm going to have trouble sleeping, even if I'm not, it's good to have it anyway. You let it dissolve sublingually under your tongue. You'll be good to go. Always keep a bottle opener on me. Like, the thing is, if the airline loses your bag, you go and get a stipend from them. For the short term. And then you probably, uh, you, you 
make a bigger claim later down the line for everything else. But you get a stipend for clothing and toiletries and essentials. Uh, these are lens hoods within lens hoods. I pack these because they are useful, but not essential. And they take up surprising amounts of space. This little dude is actually a telephoto converter. Uh, so it increases the effective focal length of your camera lenses by uh, 2x. Comes with its own complications, you're not going to get the same sharpness from that, but it's really useful. Does take up space though, and it's not something that I strictly require. These are some uh, remote triggers for my camera. And we'll see the camera soon. Uh, it's actually, I'm using the camera to record this, but I'll take some footage of that on my phone. Yeah, shitty little pair of shades, but it's Vegas, and I'm going to need those most likely at some point. Sleep mask, I should have packed this in my backpack, because my backpack is the personal item that I keep under the seat. It's I, The backpack never leaves my sight, because unlike all this, I can... It would suck to lose all of this, and my clothes, and all that. And these um, these filters for my camera lenses, like some neutral density ones. They're actually not organized by lens diameter. I need to do that sooner or later. Um, if I lose these, it's an inconvenience. But it's not devastating, right? So that's what goes in here. So next up, we have all the stuff that I keep in my camera bag, and I keep my pet in my camera bag with me no matter what. That's what goes with me everywhere. That's what goes under the seat. It's what's full of the my valuables and the stuff that I'm actually going to want, like these nice noise-canceling headphones. They're Bluetooth, so they're wireless. Uh, the noise-canceling is so good on them. They're Sony some shit. I don't remember the model. It's like WHC 700 or something. And now the good stuff. Uh, this is my photo bag. It's a backpack designed specifically for my camera. It's got this little pouch here. Uh, it's just, it's got pockets and stuff all over. I love this thing. It's so nice to travel with as well. Uh, so... This is an example of something that I would not ever pack in the suitcase, especially if I expect the suitcase to not be on my person at all times. Uh, those are my SSRI, it's my depression and anxiety meds. I can't just replace those easily if they get lost. Uh, same with my expensive lenses here. Uh, this is a Sigma uh, 70 to, to 300 millimeter lens I kind of use as a telephoto. It's also got a macro function that's not that great. This is a super wide angle 24 millimeter. It's real nice for crowd shots and stuff, for arena shots. This is my newest baby. This is a 100 millimeter mac proper macro lens. It doesn't just have a macro function. It's full full uh, one to one magnification, or is it two to one? I don't remember. Ah, uh, that's something I should double check. Either way, it's a. It's an actual macro lens. Really nice one, too. Works well in conjunction with that lens ball, by the way. Uh, this is a smart flash. It can rotate on its own mechanically. Uh, and you could set it up so it can detect the best spot in the room to aim the flash at uh, to get the best exposure. It's not like you don't have to figure that out manually with that with that flash, which can sometimes be uh, difficult in a split second to figure out, like, where do I need to diffuse this light off of or where do I need to reflect it? Forgot this is my camera. This is my baby. Uh, it is a Nikon D750. Just a gorgeous full frame camera. And on the camera is my uh, 35mm lens that I'm using to film this.
Yeah, like I said, this all stays with me, because it's all fairly important, uh, and fairly expensive. It's not the kind of thing that would be easily replaceable. Like, even once I file a claim, I still am not going to want to just be in town the whole time without, you know, my camera or whatever, or any of the lenses. Even if that can be replaced down the line, it's way more important and way more essential to me to have that stuff while I'm away. On here, I tend to not use this pocket so much, but I, right now, I a couple of bracelets in here, and that's the really important one, my voice recorder. I use that and a voice recording app on my phone whenever I do interviews. Just so I have some redundancy. Pockets everywhere on this bag. It rocks. One more big compartment up here with little mini compartments in it. I switch in here. Let's see if I can show off what I have on it. Oh, come on. So we got Kirby in there. We got some uh, Cadence of Hyrule, Tetris, Blazing Crone, good stuff. And, oh, I love this new notebook that I just got. Oh, feels so good to write in. Feels so good to hold. Rereading Slaughterhouse 5 by Kerr Vonnegut. This is all just stuff to keep me entertained while I'm on my flight to and from. It's typically what I pack in this bag. Uh, at least while I'm on the plane. This is that spare battery from the Away I was talking about, and then another separate charger, too. It can be really handy if you're in a seat that doesn't have its own, uh, own outlets for charging your stuff while you're flying. That's what I tend to use it for. And then down in here, I'll usually keep a few business cards. They're zipped away at the moment. And then the other thing that I'm using here, and you can see some business cards, uh, I keep my phone and my wallet in that pouch as well, zipped up. Then, final compartment is for the laptop. And that's what I travel with. I don't travel with, you know, shampoo and toothpaste and all that, because hotels typically provide it, and it's too much of a pain with the TSA and the 311 nonsense. So, that's it. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, take it easy. Have a good one, I guess. This is kind of a neat thing. <laughs>